who are the professionals? Journalism, bringing news, bringing opinion, shaping opinion. Our only job, probably, the, perhaps the only job is that we should be able to help the political leadership. Political leaders on both sides of the divide to extricate themselves from this quagmire of antagonism, pull them back from the brink of war if situations such arises. In short, we try to create an atmosphere where statesmen can be statesmen. I do not know much about the media in Pakistan, so with my due apologies to friends from Pakistan. But I can say with certain degree of confidence that the Indian media can only be a very poor, indeed a very dodgy partner in pursuit of peace. We in the Indian media have locked ourselves into a structural format which can only promote antagonism. The very nature of Indian media, especially now the dominant role being played by the electronic media, we are, I'm afraid, and this perhaps is the bitter truth which all of us should understand and come to terms with that the media is not likely to be a promoter of peace. As for myself, I am convinced, I remain absolutely convinced that neither India nor Pakistan can achieve its potential or national happiness of greatness unless the two countries and their ruling elites come to a live and let live understanding. There are old habits, old memories, organizations, anger, all of these would have to be jettisoned. And media is not very helpful in this endeavor. I will not be foolish enough to make any statement about the Pakistani media, but I can speak with some degree of confidence about the Indian media. Our role on a day to day basis in the public life, in the political affairs, and our contribution to society is mostly negative. We earn, all of us individually earn our professional reputation and get honors by being negative, provocatively negative, if I may say so, and partisan. And then, on top of all this, we feel obliged to be demonstratively nationalistic. <laughs>